Now, I made a few key discoveries about vocal training over the last few years, and here's basically an overview of what I've learned. I've learned that to sing better, you have to build new physical strength and motor skills. Because voice training is an athletic endeavor. At TVS, we train vocal athletes. Maybe you've seen that in some of our videos. And that's not just a cool phrase that looks neat on a coffee cup. It's real. This is like a gym for the voice, all right? This methodology that I'm going to be showing you. And if you're not training like an athlete, then you have to really ask, what are you doing with your time? Because this really is a physical endeavor. It's sort of like dancing or gymnastics or shooting baskets. It takes a lot of repetition through training and practice um, to build motor skills and build physical strength. And singing is no different than dancing or ice skating or anything like gymnastics or anything that requires great physical strength and coordination. Singers have to have great teachers and great techniques that work. Okay, sounds so obvious, but it's really hard to find. It's hard to find a great teacher and techniques that work. There's a lot of noise out there, but, uh, you know, I'm sure some of you can kind of sympathize with me when I say that it's sort of difficult to find, but you found one today, and this program absolutely works. But there is one thing you need and want to do. Okay, there is one key thing that you need to do, and that's really what we're going to focus on today. It sort of touches on our, on our title, and that is you need to learn to bridge and connect. Now, bridging and connecting, what does that mean? Um, it just means the ability to sing with one, one voice from your chest voice through the vocal break, through the passaggio, into the head voice. Okay, that's the bridging maneuver. To be able to bridge the chest register through the vocal break into the head voice, into the head register, which typically is sort of falsetto-y, sort of, sort of windy and girly and falsetto-y sounding on top until you learn how to connect. So to bridge and connect again one more time is the ability to sing seamlessly from the chest voice to the head voice with no pushing, squeezing, breaking, or any instability problems. And once you get to the other side, once you get to the high notes, to make your head voice not sound falsetto, but chesty, full, boomy, and convincing to your audience. If you can learn to bridge and connect, you have built the, the fundamental motor skills to open up all kinds of styles of singing and a lot of the other problems that you may be having with singing will sort of melt away or solve themselves if you can focus on this one primary mission and that is to to learn to registrate through the vocal break chest voice head voice and there's two parts to this when you get to the head voice, make it sound chesty, full, and boomy. And that's what everybody needs and wants. There's a lot of you that won't disagree with me on that. And that is really what I've dedicated my life to doing personally and teaching. Now, anyone can train to bridge and connect. All right. Um, you can sing through your vocal break with no pushing, squeezing, or instability issues. And you can sing in your head register with a full chest voice and have complete control over your voice in about 45 to 60 days of practice. So, you know, some of you might be thinking, well, I've tried that. It doesn't work for me. I'm telling you, it will work for you. Nine out of 10 people can do this again, if you have the right method and the right training. So on this slide is just here to encourage you to let you know that you can do this.